Welcome back to LGBT Snapshots. I am your host, Chad. It is Olympics week and today is policy day. Born in 1937, Thomas Flubacher was adopted at the age of 15 by the Waddell family, parents who had been vaudeville acrobats, and he changed his name to Tom Waddell. Went on to become a doctor through medical school, and he was dedicated to athletics and staying in shape from a very early age. Waddell came out as gay, young, and he had a series of serious relationships. One which was once featured on the cover of People magazine, the first gay couple to be featured on a magazine cover so prominently in America. Waddell was active in the civil rights movement, and he briefly served as a military medic during the Vietnam era. He had medical practices in the Castro district of San Francisco, and he worked for years in Saudi Arabia, where he was the personal physician for the Saudi Olympic team and the Saudi prince. Tom also fathered a daughter later in life, Jessica, with a lesbian friend, Sarah Lewinstein, who he legally married for convenience in parenting. After Tom competed in the 1968 Olympics, he was injured, and he went on to form the Olympic Gay Games in 1982 in San Francisco. But the Olympic Committee sued Waddell for the usage of the word Olympic, fearing that association with homosexuals would be damaging to the Olympic reputation, even though other groups had used the Olympic title without penalty, such as the Special Olympics or the Paralympics. The Gay Games, changing their name to not use the word Olympics, went on. The lawsuit took a few years, and it reached the Supreme Court in 1987. The Supreme Court sided in favor of the Olympic Committee, meaning the gay games could not use the word Olympic. And Tom was facing penalties such as fines, but they dropped those penalties when it was revealed that he was dying from AIDS, and he died just a few weeks later. Before his death, he won a gold medal at the gay games in the Javelin event in 1986. A street and a health center are named after him in San Francisco. The Gay Games have gone on to be held every four years in cities around the world, everywhere from Cleveland to Cologne, Germany to Sydney, Australia. There have been thousands of athletes who participate, at times outnumbering the participants of the actual Olympics. The Gay Games feature a sense of inclusion rather than exclusion. They allow anyone to participate. The next games are scheduled in 2018 in Paris, and the same templates have been used to launch other LGBT sporting events. Thank you for tuning in. Tomorrow we will close out Olympics week with our uh, friend or foe piece when we'll be discussing Vladimir Putin and the Sochi Games of 2014.